Once Chris disappeared after the mansion incident, he was near impossible to track down. But using my newfound position in the government, I eventually discovered his location. I would have contacted his sister, but she was a ghost herself. So I turned my search over to Claire then, and eventually learned of her confinement on Rockford Island. I shared this information with Chris, and he asked me to arrange a rescue mission before he set off on his own to find her. Claire! Claire! Kidding me? I thought tough girls like you didn't get worried. <laughs> what happened? How did you get here? Leon contacted me. Leon? You know him? Yeah. He tracked me down right after you went missing. Look, Claire, we can talk about this later, but we gotta get out of here first. Wait, Steve, he's here somewhere. We can't leave without him! hibernating for 15 years to become one with the Veronica virus. Veronica virus? I still have some experiments to perform. Would you care to play along? Your friend awaits you in the Colosseum. You don't want to be late. This guy's gotta hire a new decorator. What do you mean? This palace. They had the same one in Raccoon City. At least I'll know my way around. Crazy research projects. We don't have much time. We better hurry. Come on, Steve. Where are you? 
me with something. I think it's the Veronica virus. She wants to test me, see if I'll obey her orders. Claire, she wants me to kill you. Steve! I won't kill you! for it. No! Claire! We're not gonna give up. Right now we've got no choice. All right. Good. Let's get upstairs before it catches up. Stop! a jump. Let's go. I'll be back. I promise. Be careful. Good. I think we can get through here.
Steve? Steve! No! Stay here. I'm gonna go plant this in the power room. I'm coming with you. It's time this ended. Alexia has to be stopped. I'm gonna finish this, Steve. And then we'll all be free. We'll need to get to the control room first. at the Colosseum was so much fun, don't you think? Yes! Though I guess sometimes a worker ant will turn on his queen. Chris! Are you okay? Oh, that's right. You two are brother and sister, aren't you? I had a brother once, too. He really wasn't much fun. He couldn't even wake me up on time. But, I've released him of all his responsibilities. You think everyone in this world is here to serve you, don't you? Serve me? No. I think everyone else is here to serve my experiments. <laughs> that my only daughter has become obsessed with the Veronica virus. She has even got to the point of experimenting on her own body. My daughter dreams of unleashing this thing into the world. This last step is the only way I can think of to help her. Whether you are on Umbrella's side or not, please help her. Even though it was he who created my brother and I. But he was such a miserable old man.
lost the plumber! Got it!
the Veronica virus, despite Chris's best efforts, was procured by Wesker. He secured Steve's body, which had been infected, and was able to extract the virus, leading to its reappearance in South America. The virus continues to grow, altering its form, strengthening perpetually, until the day comes when it can be destroyed. Ready, dear brother? Dear Tanya, congratulations on your 13th birthday. I wanted to invite you to the estate to celebrate this joyous occasion, but I know that you are unable to attend, so at least allow me the honor of sending you my heartfelt felicitations. You understand Alexia well. You understood the sorrow of a lonely girl. You too were exceptional. Perhaps even rivaling Alexia. That's right. Without you, Alexia's experiments may not have been as successful as they were. So I am grateful for being able to celebrate your birthday like this. Tanya, if you would be so kind as to do me a favor, well, for Alexia actually, could you please sing that song again? That soothing lullaby. I'm sure it will bring back fond memories for her. 
Isn't that right, Alexia? Alexia, it's your turn now. Tonya, it's been 15 years now. 15 years since you looked so curiously at me. You would stare into my eyes, even as I closed the door. I am sure you were afraid of me. Uneasiness comes to everyone before they sleep. The feeling of your future suddenly washed over by white light. The same is true for me. I wanted you to feel what I have felt and taste what I have tasted. The same IQ, the same age, the same physical makeup, the same blood type. I searched the world over, and when I found you, my experiment became more definitive. The changes human cells undergo during cryogenic sleep, the kind of brain waves a person who has been frozen in time gives off. <sighs> These data variances are a reference for comparison for my research. Tanya, thank you. Because of you, I have learned so much. So it is with thanks that we celebrate. <laughs> <laughs> it's your thirteenth birthday for the fifteenth time. <laughs> Happy birthday, eternal thirteen.